What is going on guys? In this video, we're going to go over exactly why I like swing trading a hundred times better than day trading and which one really should you be doing because everybody's a little bit different. So with that being said, let's go ahead, jump on here to the computer and let's, let me explain why. Yo, I've been getting dirty money okay guys so the, the biggest thing when it comes down to day trading is a day trade you know everybody knows a day trade is literally buying and selling in the same day sometimes i end up doing this on what should be a swing trade but instead it hits my goals already during one day and i go on ahead and i'll sell it but this right here this section of this stock is going to be the perfect example of what the differences are here and what you should be doing so right here you guys can see this is an uptrend we're going through we're making higher lows and it's the this is coca-cola and we're trending upwards so a day trader a day trader is going to be making money going both ways you know and you can do this swing trading too you can make money going both ways of course buying calls versus puts um, when you're buying a stock it's just buying shares but when you want it to go down you you short the stock rather than going long. So with this being said, right here, I mean, you could have made a lot of money going downwards. Excuse those messages, guys. But you guys could have made, you, know, you guys could have made a lot of money on the way down. And you guys could have made a lot of money on the way up on all three of these days here. But what I get the sense of, and why I don't like day trading very much anymore, is you're going against the market. And what do I mean? Is so if you're shorting this, meaning that you want the stock to go down, is you know you're really going against the grain here, um, shorting this. And if you hold this overnight, you would have got killed because it gapped up. And then yes, I mean if you would have waited, you probably would have made some money. But then boom, the next very next day, you would have actually really got killed. But when it comes down to swing trading, you're getting the overall direction. You're following the trend. You can actually, you know, buy. And even if you buy here, look, the next day you could have made a little bit of money. You could have took in a little bit. And then, boom, the very next day, you're all the way up here. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're buying stocks, those aren't huge moves. But when you're buying options, these moves are actually quite a bit. And I don't buy within the first 30 minutes of the day. So I wouldn't have been messing with this but i will sell within the first 30 minutes as long as i'm hitting my goals guys so this is one thing when it comes down to i always talk about going against the going against the grain you know you always go with the grain is what everybody, is what everybody says so don't fight a wave you know if something's going up i would rather ride the wave upwards then be trying to push this thing down and that's what happens when people get short squeezed basically they start shorting it here and then a bunch of people just start buying this thing and it squeezes them all the way through or a bunch of people start shorting it and it gets short squeezed um again you guys can look up that term on investopedia it's, it'll be right there um it'll tell you what a short squeeze is but this is why i recommend especially if you have a day job or any sort of part-time job or anything like that i highly recommend swing trading first of all for me it's way more profitable it's less stressful and third of all it's just easier for me, especially if you use my strategy. I don't have to do a lot of research. I can honestly figure out if I'm going to swing trade something within first 30 minutes of the day, trying to figure out you know, what fits my strategy. If it fits my strategy, I'll take the trade. If it doesn't, I keep moving on. Day trading is a little bit different. You can have five to 10 trades in the same day. You can sometimes have more. Um, it really just depends on your strategy and you have to worry about fake outs and all these other things, guys. So when it comes down to it, it's less stressful to swing trade, guys. I hope this answers somebody's questions. I hope you guys get something out of this video. Please leave a comment. if this explains anything if this helps you guys that being said thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video